So Mark Strong is a certified professional life career and uh, executive coach who specializes in helping successful people around the world explore, enhance, and expand their lives. He also continues to consult for creativity companies around the world. Uh, Mark worked for global advertising agencies for the first 20 years of his career, leading successful teams, coaching high-performance employees, and spearheading training initiatives. And I'm happy to say he is my life coach. So he has made a huge impact on the launch of Insightful Voice as well as my personal life. Here's a big announcement. Mark has a book coming out this year called The Strong Principles. The exactly. Strong Principles. And that should be available to the public late this year. And as Mark knows, I will be the first in the bookstore. So, Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. I'm so yes. excited. Thank you. Yes, welcome, welcome. So, mm -hmm. as you know, I've invited five life coaches and thought leaders really around from around the country to share their life lessons uh, so that people who are joining and watching in will be inspired by your insightful voice and hopefully that will help them tap into their insightful voice uh, so that they can move forward with leading the life they most want to live. And I thought we could do this by just answering or just asking me asking three questions and you answering those questions. Okay, sounds okay. good. Okay. okay, so for the first question, um, if you have the opportunity to get one message to everyone in the world, what would that one message be? My one message? Oh, wow, that's such a good question. All right, so uh, in the spirit of being a coach, I'm gonna give you two answers, because okay. I think there's, I, I come across this all the time, and I think my first answer would be that, that every moment is a new moment to choose. And I say that because so many people, I think, feel trapped and stuck in the routines of their life, um, of their lives. And, you know, every second of every day we can stop and we can make a new decision. Mm. And there's incredible amounts of freedom in that for, for clients and for people and for me. And so I always, I think that's probably one of the single most important messages is you are not trapped. You have the power, you have the freedom to choose something different if you don't like what you have. This, I guess the second thing, and I know I'm, I'm answering it with two, two answers, but the second thing is, you know, take a moment to evaluate your life's formula. Do you have the right inputs and the right outputs to work for your life? And that, that includes, do you have the right, right, right amount of love coming in? Do you have the right amount of work satisfaction coming in? Do you have the right amount of health and food and exercise and sleep coming into your life? And then is the right stuff coming out of your formula on the other side? Um, are you having the right relationships? Are you having the right joy that you want? So I think that those would be my two messages. Yes. Just uh, you know, make sure that you remember that every moment is a new moment to choose and to always be checking that your formula is right. I love that. I love that. You know, uh, during these interviews, I'm going to try to keep to the three questions, but you're talking and my mind is bubbling with all of these thoughts. We're going to keep Keep going. So, because uh, we could talk about that one question for the next 30 minutes. I'm sure. Um, Good. So, the second question is thinking about the most challenging moment in your life. And you don't have to share the exact moment. What I really want to do is focus on the lesson that you've learned from it. So, thinking of the most challenging moment of your life, what is the lesson that you learned from it? Oh, that's another great question. I, you know, well, I have a hard time sometimes with the, with the most challenging moment because I think, I think the, all challenging moments of my life, no matter how sort of severe or big they felt, I've, I've come to the conclusion that I think the same five or four or five things need to take place or, or things that I've learned. One is that when I'm, when I'm being challenged, I have to be honest about what's going on. I have to acknowledge what's happening in myself and around me. I have to express how I'm feeling about what's happening. Mm -hmm. I have to take responsibility for whatever needs to, to take place or what action needs to happen next. Mm -hmm. And I think the last thing in the most challenging situations is that I have to, I, I, I am served best when I act quickly. Mm -hmm. And, and so when I feel like, you know, you have that sort of energetic feeling that something is off or something is wrong. And I'm, for me, it works best when I'm really when I'm really laser focused about how do I feel about this? What's my truth? 
how can I express this to other people or to myself out loud? How can, what can I do to take responsibility to change this? And then how can I move quickly? Because I think, like many people, I tend to wallow and suffer in a long, for a long time. Yeah. And I've learned over the years that that's not required. You know, mm-hmm. suffering is optional and you can move through stuff very quickly. So those are my sort of quick, quick lessons for mm-hmm. most, if not all, of my challenging situations. I think that is so rich. I really, I really like the phrase, suffering is optional. Yeah. I really, really like that because I think some people feel like, um, even though they don't want to say it, I, feel, I think people feel like they deserve to suffer because they made the choice. So they're like, I made the choice, so now I got I to gotta take up with the consequences. But, but really, suffering is optional.